Oh, it's Max, and we're back. Um, I did a video about this maybe a week ago about what the fruit of a cult ministry is um, and pointed out some of the different people. And now we're going to look at another one, and I don't honestly want to do this, but for a long time people have been saying that Brian Denlinger is a lordship salvationist and all this other stuff. And I never really believed that. I never really believed it. And what I've come to find out is that he's just been a con artist the whole time. Um, he is a lordship salvationist, and this is what he teaches people, is lordship salvationist. Ed Feniger called him out years ago on being a lordship salvationist. But you don't see it. You don't see it until you see people that he is training try to preach the Bible. And when the people that he is training preach the Bible, you see exactly what that man is training. Because they are not getting it from the Bible. Now, today we're going to look at Jacob. JT does. Don't know anything about the guy. I watched his video. He seems like a smart kid. But he is completely mind controlled. Because the stuff that he is saying does not come from the Bible. We can see if I can move this. There we go. Trusting the blood is not necessary for salvation. So with that title, you're saying that Jesus Christ's blood has no bearing on salvation whatsoever. Okay. I think it's semantics, really. Oh, we just have to have faith in Jesus. Well, yeah, sure. But the reason that Jesus paid for our sins was with his blood. And it's all over the Bible. All over the Bible. The blood's a pretty important aspect. And to come out with a video, trusting in the blood is not necessary for salvation, it's kind of doublespeak. The blood, trusting in the blood, no. What it should say is trusting in Jesus' blood. And, and then you can make your rattling comments. We're going to listen to a few quips. And like I said, I have nothing against, um, I don't know if I'm going to call him a man or a boy yet. I don't know if he's out of high school. And there's, you know, no offense in that. I'm just saying be around the block a little bit before you put yourself on the internet. Um, you can see he is getting this stuff from somewhere else. You can see his eyes dart all over the place like he's thinking, what did Brian say? 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 What did I learn from Brian? And I know I'm going to make some people mad with this video, and uh, I do apologize for some of the noise that might go on throughout the video. This is ahead of time. Sometimes it's kind of a pain to... I mean, I'm, I'm surprised he's not wearing a plaid shirt. Right? You know, filming this neighborhood, you know. Um, it's just how it is. <laughs> but, um, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to do a bit of a contra controversial video today. And, um... This whole thing of, you know, trusting in the blood, believing in the blood atonement for salvation. And I'm just going to come out alright and say it, no, that's wrong. Um, you're not going to find any scriptures that teach this thing that, that like, you have to trust the blood to be saved. And, really? Uh, and I know those people can be flying off the hand right now typing their mean comments, you know, because they're thinking, I'm oh, like, my, you're a heretic, Jacob. Well, I wouldn't say you're a heretic. I say you're misguided. You're completely misguided. Um... We're going to go through some scripture after we watch a little bit more of his video. And we'll go through scripture and I'll just prove him wrong. I mean, this is what I mean about you have to being up around the block a little bit. I mean, I can, I can snap this crap off the top of my head and say, oh, heresy. No, you're wrong. Um, and pull up scripture. He's going to dart around and think about what, what his cult leader told him. And... 
while I'm on that subject, I'll just go ahead and bring it up. Uh, Husky 394 XP. Praise the Lord, brother. Amen to everything you said. You know, um, well, we're going to look at through the scriptures here and just see what the scripture, scriptures actually have to say. And, uh, you know, um, and this is mainly among people that profess to be, you know, easy believers on faith alone, free grace, whatever they want and, to call And, you know, themselves. I was in that camp, you know, and I feel bad for this kid because, you know, I was kind of in that same thing. And I believed all of Brian's crap and I believed all this stupid stuff. And... <sighs> You just have to grow out of it, and you have to understand it for what it is, and you have to do a little bit of critical thinking, a little bit, and understand what people are saying, and call them out on their BS, when they're BSing you. Otherwise, you get taken advantage of. And now I'm a big softy now. I didn't used to be a big softy, but now I'm a big softy. I get taken advantage of all the time, and I'm just like, well the way it goes because I'm old now and I'm tired okay I'm old and I'm tired now didn't used to be that way little kids like this should not be like that think for yourself man think for yourself you know um it's th this whole thing of just you know trust the blood it's just trust the blood you know you know you, you believe in the blood atonement for your sins and that's it um, and, and it's the same people that, you know, they, they don't take strong stands and repentance or, or they'll just flat out not teach at all and they'll go to even further extremes and say, oh no, it's a work, you know, it's just yeah. unbelief to belief, which is. He's talking about Ed Venager. That's who he's talking about. I mean, yeah, just what it is. Um, now he's going to talk about the Godhead from one month ago. Uh, like he knows. And let's let's discern now where he got this doctrine from. Hey everyone, um, I'm back. I want to do another uh, um, video, and uh, today I want to be addressing um, the Godhead and uh, and uh, what the King what the King James Bible has to say about it. And uh, you know, there's been a lot of contentions going on um, lately on YouTube. Well, with some people. <laughs> with some um, people. Yeah, no. I, 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 don't know, I, don't, I don't really know how to say it, but the point is, there's a lot of contentions going on of this whole thing of you know of a Catholic Trinity and then what the Bible. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! See, you just lied, dude. It's not the Catholic Trinity. It's a Trinity teaching that's been taught for thousands of years. Just because the Catholics use it too, doesn't mean it's not correct. And number one, the Catholics aren't Christian. So who cares what the heck they are doing in the first place? Actually, it says about, about the Godhead. And um, I, I want to bring up a verse that I really haven't heard a lot of people talk about, and I think um, it's just one, another really good verse that proves the, you know, the true biblical Godhead and debunking this whole Catholic Trinity stuff. And again, um, someone's going to come across this video and more than likely not even watch it and say, oh, you're teaching modalism. No, I'm not teaching modalism. I reject modalism. Again, see... He does the, the same thing that Brian is the doing. The problem with modalism is, is they deny distinction. Right. They deny distinction. And you can go to JT Does and watch his video. Um, Brian does the same thing. He says that God the Father is God the Son. Or actually, no, he, he won't even say God the Son. He says, God the Father is Jesus Christ, is the Holy Spirit. They are all one being. That is what Brian Denlinger teaches. There, there is no... There is no, like, wiggle room in there. He has 30-something videos saying that. Okay? And now he's training young bucks like this to teach the same heretical garbage. And he says, well, it's not modalism. Where did you learn modalism? Did you learn modalism in school, kid? Did you? No. You learned it because me and Ed Fanager are calling Brian Denlinger a modalist. 
and Brian comes out with videos saying, oh, I'm not a modalist. And you're learning to twist the scriptures just like he is. You're just... The scriptures are not that complex. Okay? It doesn't require some master interpretation to read the Bible. You're, it's modalism, man. It's modalism. And it's not the Catholic Trinity. The Trinity doctrine has been around since Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ even talked about the Trinity. Watch a couple of seconds of this and we'll go to another video. You know, they'll use you know similar scriptures to prove their you know you know like the ones that I would use, you know, or we of, of the true Bible believers would try to use, right? Um, to prove you're the only true Bible believer. Okay, all right, all right, man. Now, like I said, I don't want to be a jerk here, but you literally need to be around the block a bit. Because the first two years that I was saved, I was kind of a nutcase with the Bible and was all over the place until I figured stuff out and everything kind of worked and everything was right. You know, I was a Seventh-day Adventist for a year, got into the Ken Hovind cult, got into all sorts of stuff. And you just have to be around the block a bit. And the things that he is saying do not come directly from the Bible. This is teaching that somebody else gave them. Just like Brian Denlinger in the Body, Soul, and Spirit teaching. That comes from Peter Ruckman. It doesn't come from the Bible. It comes from Peter Ruckman. But it makes him money. So that's what he's going to teach. The true biblical Godhead. Well, they'll use scriptures like John 14, um... 7 through 10, for example, or they'll, you know, they'll use those type of scriptures to go see, see Jesus as the Father, and, you know, and then the other passages where the Jesus is the Holy Ghost. And, you yeah, know, that see. part is true, but, but the problem is what's wrong about it is then they, they fail to make any distinction, and it's just how they somehow... Okay. How is there a distinction in what Brian is saying and, and what you're talking about? Um... He's saying that he's not a modalist because he does not believe that modalism teaches any sort of distinction. How is that different from what Brian teaches where the God the Father is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is also Jesus Christ and they're all the same being? How is that different? See, we're twisting words. And he's growing up to be, this is how to be a cult leader. This is, this is how we do it. We twist Everything. Everything. We can't just have a simple Bible and simple Bible reading. No. We need to twist it, and we need to come up with some supremely heretical doctrine, and then some people will join us and some people will fall away. And, you know... <clears throat> excuse me. When you're talking about, you know, I, I don't know about the Trinity. I think most everybody is pretty much poo-pooed Brian on that. But... He wants to talk about racism and interracial marriage and all that stuff. And there's a lot of people out there who will just throw money at him. Be like, yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, you talk that, you talk that racism stuff, and we love it. Because there are some crazy people out there. And that's where this guy is going to go. And, you know, I think I can probably pull it up. But then he's, he's going to be anti-church, too. Which is something that I only heard from Brian. And I can understand his point of view. And I can kind of get him bored with it. Okay? Yes, church buildings are kind of big clubs. And they really don't preach doctrine in a lot of those places. However, they do serve a purpose. And to call them satanic or something like that is just stupid. And, you know, I think I even have a video that I did when I was in the Denlinger cult about, you know, how terrible church buildings were. You know, I've been there and I've done it. Been there, done it. I know exactly where this kid is coming from. And, you know, please, this is why it is so important for guys like Ed Venager to make videos against Brian. Because they're twisting young minds like this. They're twisting them. <sighs> Trusting the blood. All right. I think here we are. <clears throat> Salvation according to the Bible. This is the main page. 
This video is not trying to get you to join a local quote unquote church. Well, you don't have to join a local church because you're in the church when you're saved. Or some denomination or cult, but rather show you what the Bible says and how to get saved. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I understand what you mean by that. You're talking about church building. But where did you get that? Did you read that? Is there somewhere in scripture that it says, do not congregate together in a building? No, there is nothing like that. You got this from Brian Denlinger. That's where you got it from. That's all these kooky doctrines that these people come out with. They all come from Brian. And, you know, I'm a, a big guy for like, you know, if you, you're newly saved in Christ, you want to do something, you know, start a YouTube channel and re-upload other people's stuff that you find inspiring. That's what I suggest. I don't suggest that you, you start being trying to be a preacher don't try to be a preacher <sighs> i'm not trying to be a preacher i'm just pointing stuff out okay but i do have the ability to interpret scripture because i don't want to read let's listen to the lordship salvation message but really aren't sure themselves. In this video, I want to give as many scriptures as I possibly can showing you uh, how you can be saved and what this Bible says of what you must do to be saved. How you can be and what you must do. So before we kind of get into the scriptures, let me just kind of tell you what salvation is not. Salvation is not the, going people that to a building called... don't know what salvation is, trying to explain to you salvation. And the only thing they can do is say, well, this is what it isn't. It's not all these other people who don't listen to me and don't listen to Brian Denlinger. Salvation is, what, what did Brian say? I'm going to look to the side and the left and the right and try and recall that. What did Brian say about that? All the church every Sunday or um, wherever the doors are always open. That doesn't merit your salvation. Um, and that practice appears nowhere in the pages of the King James Bible. You won't find it. Yes, you can find it. Uh, yeah, they always came together. They always came together. Where do you think you, you, you got the church in Thessalonica? What do you think that was just a pastor somewhere? What do you, what are you crazy? You see, these people, they just talk crap the entire time that they're talking. It's just crap 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 out of their mouth and he doesn't know any better he's getting it from brian brian told him so therefore well brian's been a quote unquote pastor for eight years therefore he must be correct and he must know what he's talking about so i'm just gonna spew it out and call it good let's call it good um the church at thessalonica there was a church there why did the bible say it was a church at thessalonica Oh, I just proved you wrong. Hmm? Now, not to say that, you know, every church building out there is a wonderful thing. No, I've been to a lot of them. They're all crap. But I'm not going to say that they're all crap. I'm going to say a lot of them are. <laughs> I mean, I've been to a few of them, man. They're all kind of crap. That does not mean that every church out there is crap. And when you want to have a funeral and you want to have a wedding, where are you going to go? Huh? You going to do it in your apartment? What are you going to do? They serve a purpose. Some people like singing and they want to go to church and go sing. Eh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You hear one verse of scripture and then you sing for 45 minutes. That's what the Methodists do. Whatever. Whatever. And one thing you learn about me in a, in a, in a, as a Bible believer, that if the book don't say it, you don't do it. It's very simple. Okay. Well, he's a liar then. I mean, plain up, straight liar. So, And he doesn't think he's lying. He was told this by somebody else. Uh... We all know who it is, the gift who keeps on giving. 
Um, so this is why it's important to, to continue to attack heresy like this. Because, man, they're training little kids to try and be pastors and stuff. I mean, I am, I feel so bad for these kids because they're losing like years of their spiritual growth for getting into this stuff. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm the man that has the answer for everything. I'm just going to say this is her heretical. This is bad. This is bad stuff. It, it's lordship salvation. Um, we're going to teach the Trinity. You're going to go to hell if you believe the Trinity and you're going to teach racism and you're, you're, you're lost. If you believe anything other than uh, what Brian teaches, you're stunting spiritual growth and it's sad. It's sad. And you know, he's obviously a smart kid and obviously knows the scripture and is very devout. And you know, that's a great thing. And I'm sure that eventually he'll come out of it, but you know, trusting the blood is not a necessary for salvation. Uh, trusting the blood. Well, we're going to say Jesus's blood. I think that's probably what he meant. And, um, I'll just, you know, you can go up to Bible gateway here and just type in blood and you're going to get like a thousand passages the very first one being Leviticus, and I'm going to quickly, very quickly read through all of this just to debunk this garbage nonsense that um, a little kid in high school wants to put out on the internet like he's an authoritative pastor. Okay, Leviticus 1711. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it two upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul Shep, you can't get saved by the blood man god's a liar you're calling god a liar right there the very first verse when you search blood <laughs> the very first one it's the blood that makes an atonement for the soul <clears throat> But uh, apparently he doesn't have Bible Gateway. And we're going to go through a few more scriptures. I'm going to do them very quickly. So you're, I'm going to rattle off like a, uh, what do you call it? What do you, uh, them auction guys? Because I got to go quick. I've uh, already been going for 22 minutes and we're about done here. I got to go bed. I got to go bed. But if we walk in like it is he's in like, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Ephesians 2.13 But now in Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Hebrews 10.19 Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Now the God of peace that brought again, well, Hebrews 13.20 and we'll go too fast here. Now the God of peace that brought again from dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of everlasting covenant. Man, there's a lot of blood in here. Peter 1, 2. Elect according to foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you, peace be multiplied. John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowships one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. Revelation 1 5, and from Jesus Christ, who is faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. <sighs> and I think I already did John 1 7. I'll read it again just for the fun of it. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us out from all sin. So, I, I pretty well debunked everything this kid had to say about trusting the blood is not necessary for salvation. And he did not get that from the Bible. I mean, I did a quick search. I spent 15 minutes 
okay, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture completely disproves his entire argument. Why does he not know this? Because he's only listening to heretics like Denlinger. That's what it is. And it's sad, man. It's sad. And I don't want to pause on that because it looks like he's doing a Hitler salute, but it wouldn't make sense. Um, I don't want to pause on that. I'll go to my channel. I don't want to, I don't want to beat the kid up, you know, and because when you're new to Christ and you're actually newly saved, you're ready to soak up anything, man. You're a sponge and you just soak up all this stuff and you try and put things together and you respect people who are teaching you and you respect them and you take their word as gospel. That's what happens. That is what happens when you get newly saved. And people are taking Denlinger's word as gospel. And like I said, a couple of years ago, he wasn't teaching crap. In the last year, it's all crap. Pretty much everything that comes out of the guy's mouth is garbage. It's all complete heresy. And he's going to pay for it. He's going to pay for it. God is going to smite him. That's what's going to happen. I mean, I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to do nothing. All the lawyers that want me to sue Brian so they can make a buck off me and buck off of Brian, I'm not worried about it. I'm really not worried about it. Um, I can live without going to court and all this stuff. I can live without that. What, what, what aggravates me is going up on the internet and people sending me links to videos of people that are Denlinger cult members who basically cannot think on their own they just preach what brian preaches and it's like where brian has never defended any of his kooky doctrines ever and all the little kids they latch on to that kooky doctrine and that's what they run with i have a new revelation i have a new revelation you might as well be um a new age um, astral projecting cult member who believes in um, uh, reptilians walking the earth. You may as well do that. Go be- go read Zachariah Sitchin and go believe in ancient aliens and go do that. You may as well do that because you're a young kid. And trust me, I know what I'm saying. I was there. I did that when I was in my early 20s. I did that. I know exactly the mentality. So, you know, I'm happy that people want to go out there and do things for Christ. But if you're a young kid and you're newly saved, I suggest that you re-upload other people's videos who have been around the block a bit. Okay? That's what I suggest you do. Because when you speak, you're going to get ripped apart. Okay? It took me 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And just type in blood into Bible Gateway. And you're messed up on your doctrine. You're completely messed. And you're making semantical arguments about, well, it's not really the blood you're believing in. It's Jesus you're believing in. It's like, that's such a a, a semantical argument about twisting words and all this stuff. Makes no difference. It was the blood that cleansed our sins. The Bible says it over, 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 over again. So, with that, um, I've gone on for almost a half hour now. Um, I am proud I did not end up swearing in this entire video. And I went on for 30 minutes. So, um, God bless you all. And I hope you enjoyed my, my satire videos. And we might have more of those in the future. And with that, we're... Out of here.